Welcome back to chapter 14 of the Landry News. Law for all, all for law. When the afternoon class came whooping into room 145 on Wednesday, the kids were surprised to see a TV and a VCR on a cart next to Mr. Larson's desk. Mr. Larson had never showed videos to them before. When everyone had quieted down, Mr. Larson said, I know you all need to get right to work on the newspaper. But first, I want you to watch something I taped on TV last, late last night. He pushed the play button and a talk show host told a joke about the president and the vice president telling lies to each other. The TV audience laughed and clapped. Mr. Larson shut off the TV and pushed the cart aside. He pulled down a road up map of the world and tapped the black tip of a pointer onto different countries as he spoke. Mr. Larson said, <clears throat> if that comedian lived in this country or this country or this country, and he told that joke about the president last night, today, he would probably be in jail. Pausing dramatically, he moved the point into another country. And if that comedian lived in this country and told that joke last night about the president, today, he would probably be dead. Moving the pointer to the United States, Mr. Larson said, but of course that comedian lives in this country and today he's not in jail and he's not dead. He's probably sitting somewhere drinking mineral water and thinking of something else to make people laugh at again tonight. Mr. Larson rolled up the map and walked to the side of the classroom, picking his way among stacks of magazines and a couple of book racks. He stood next to a bulletin board. The board was incredibly cluttered, but in the center, there was a small poster printed in faded blue ink that had never had anything stapled over it. And at the top, it said, the Bill of Rights. The 10 original amendments to the Constitution of the United States of America. Mr. Larson put the pointer on the word Constitution and said, now, I know we haven't studied the Constitution yet this year, so I'm going to get to the point as quickly as I can. The Constitution is like a list of rules, okay? It's a list of rules that tells how our country's government has to be set up. When the Constitution was first written down, some people said it gave too much power to the government and not enough protection to ordinary people. And these people said that before they would agree to the rules of the Constitution, there had to be a Bill of Rights, a list of rights that the government could never take away from people. They didn't want the government to start acting like a cruel king. They had already had one of those and one was enough. Mr. Larson tapped on the word amendments. He said, so that made some amendment. So they made some amendments. This word just means changes. The Bill of Rights is contained in those 10 changes that are now a permanent part of the Constitution. Now, this is the main idea I want you to get here. They made these 10 original amendments even before anyone would agree to the Constitution itself. And the First Amendment is first for a reason. It promises that the government cannot get involved in religion, either for or against it. It promises that people are free to express their opinions and ideas, like that comedian last night. And it also says that there is freedom of the press, that the government cannot decide what a newspaper is allowed or not allowed to print. Ed caught on right away and his hand shot up. Does that mean we can print anything we want in the Landry News, he asked. Mr. Larson said, good question, Ed. What do you think about that, Kara? Can you print anything you want in the Landry News? Kara hesitated. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I used to put anything I wanted into the paper because I made the whole thing from beginning to end. But now I, I guess if someone didn't like what we wrote, they could keep us from using the printer or the computer. Then Joey said, but if I used my own computer at home and I brought my own paper and everything, like then I could print whatever I felt like, right? Sharon's dad was a lawyer. She said, yeah, but if you printed a lie about me, my dad would sue you and then your computer would be my computer. Mr. Larson said, you've all raised some good points here. The fact is when you publish a paper, you do have to tell the truth. If you get caught lying, someone is likely to sue you. Take you to court, like Sharon said. And if a newspaper company publishes the newspaper, then the owner of the newspaper gets to decide what may or may not be in the paper. It was quiet for a moment. Then Ed asked the question that was forming in everyone's mind. 
So who was the owner of the Landry News? Kara, right? Kara shook her head. Not really, not anymore. And I feel kind of funny having that still be the name of it. I think maybe we should change it to something different. Joey said, I don't, you started it and you're still the editor in chief. So I vote that we keep the name the same. Kara blushed at Joey's little speech and blushed even more when the whole class clapped and cheered, agreeing with him. Mr. Larson brought things back to order. So that's settled. Now back to Ed's question about who owns the newspaper, Leanne? Leanne said, well, the school owns the Landry News, right? I mean, like the school buys the paper and the computer and all. So it's the schools, right? Mr. Larson said, you could say the owner is the school and that the head of the school is the principal, but the principal is hired by the school board and the school board is elected by your parents and the other people in Carleton. And they are the ones who pay the taxes that pay the principal and the teachers and buys all the paper and the computers and the prints and the printers, right? After a long pause, Mr. Larson said, there's a lot to think about when you're running a newspaper, isn't there? And with that, the lesson about the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the freedom of the press was over. Using the pointer like a gentleman's walking cane, Mr. Larson picked his way through the clutter back to his desk. It was quiet for another moment or two, and Kara sat there staring at the Bill of Rights on the bulletin board. She was wondering how much freedom of the press the Landry News really had. A little suspicion formed in the back of her mind that sooner or later, she'd find out. Let me know today what you think is going to happen next. See you soon.